world, it's good to see you. We are back at Carowinds for their Grand Carnival event. They invited us out for a media event. I don't know what all that's going to entail, but we're going to learn a little bit about this Grand Carnival thing. Now, they did it last year, so I don't know what's new. I guess we're going to learn all that in this video. So, here we go. Grand Carnival 2022. Let's go have some fun at this media event. On the way in, I just want to point something out. I have been working on this channel for so long, doing Carowinds videos and Charlotte area videos. It's kind of cool that we're finally starting to get a little recognition and being invited to these events and things. So, I'm a little bit excited. If you're interested in seeing those videos, you might want to hit the subscribe button. Headed in on the bridge to the entrance right over the Fury, we can see that they've got some decorations for the Grand Carnival put up with some flags and masks and things. Oh, they've got the Carowinds sign all decked out too. Let's go check that out. On the way to the Carowinds sign, I figured I'd show this. The Grand Carnival at Carowinds lasts from June 25th to July 10th. Looks like the Grand Carnival is an everyday event. I guess we'll figure that out when we go into the media event they've got for us. So right here's the Carowinds sign. They've got some necklaces hung up there. The king and queen out front looking all good. And here's a QR code for their event guide. If you want to scan this with your phone, it should take you to some information about it. We've been securitized and had our season passes scanned and we're finally into Carowinds. Check out these decorations. I'm sure there's more to come. Check out all these decorations. I'm telling you, Carowinds has been doing a great job on their events here lately. I mean, Starbucks here even has like garland and stuff all over it. All right, the band's back there warming up, practicing for the event tomorrow. And we are at our spot right here at Starbucks. That's the room we're gonna go into for the media event. We're just waiting on them to get it ready. All right, here we go. First media event at Carowinds. All right, y'all, here we are. We're finally in the media event. They've got some awesome things set up back here, some merch over here. So we're gonna get to see all of that. And they've even got some really cool decorations on the tables. So I'm excited to see what they're gonna show us. Looks like we have some really cool merch. We got a tie-dye there, some kids' clothes. All this looks really cool. Try to make it to where it's not so backlit for you. There you go. And here's some of the toys. We got a Snoopy here with a Grand Carnival shirt, a tumbler, some nation flags, and some awesome looking desserts. Look at that. And they also have some of the drinks lined out here. I'm sure they're going to talk to us a little bit more about that. Um, but here they are. Creme Brulee. Oh, those aren't, dr those aren't drinks. It does say Pina Colada, but it's actually food. I think it's the, the brownies right here, actually. It's samples of those. So we'll get to try some of the, the samples of the brownies here. Now I'm going to give you a quick run through of the food they're going to have at the Grand Carnival. I can't pronounce some of this stuff, so you're going to have to try to read the card yourself. There's a grape right there. That's pretty good. Croissant. That looks good too. Spicy shrimp. Udon, udon. Potato pancakes. Good luck pronouncing that right there. Somebody help me out. Give me a pronunciation. Pretzel bites here. I'm about to run over. Carowinds fans only Dustin here. Lots of pictures happening. But this is all the food I'm guessing they're gonna have from the for the Grand Carnival. Lasagna Frida, that looks cool. Oh man, lemon olive oil cake. That sounds good. I might have to try that. I've picked up three of the fudge samples. I think I called them drinks earlier, and then I said they were brownies, and now I'm saying they're fudge, so these things change up like crazy. No, they are fudge. They have no alcohol in them. This is pina colada right here. This is creme brulee. This is dark chocolate, and I'm hearing things about the dark chocolate. German chocolate. German chocolate. And this is churro. Can it be dark German chocolate? Whatever it is, it's delicious. It's, it's delicious. My, it's my favorite. 
Right now, I did try the pina colada fudge. It was really good. Like I said before, no alcohol. Now we're gonna try this churro uh, fudge and see what we think. Yeah, it tastes a lot like cinnamon, 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 cinnamon toast. I like it, but I, I swear to you, I think I like the German chocolate one a little bit better. It was really good, not too rich, but still a little rich. You know, you wanna kinda splurge a little bit. I like the German chocolate, it had peanuts in it. I think that's what I would go with. Carnival is a big celebration, a celebration that brings to life six different countries, six different countries, world-class celebrations. We're so excited to bring those to life again this year. Carnival is a beautiful celebration of food, fun, and festivities. Uh, you saw the beautiful food that our food and beverage team have created for you. Um, ironically, for those of you who have returned, you probably only see two menu items that are the same as last year, which is pretty great. We completely revamped the menu, which is great. Um, we also revamped some of the locations. So you'll see that we didn't put things in the exact same places this year. Please introduce 20 performers who help bring Carnival to life. Uh, each unit of the parade has between four to 16 performers in it. So lots and lots of variety, lots of beautiful costumes presented and created by our uh, company's costume team in Kansas City at World's of Fun. They're called the Sparkle Factory. And they really, sparkle is like putting it lightly as to what they make. Thank you. Well, welcome guys. Uh, those who I haven't met yet, hopefully you get a chance to chat a little bit at the end of this. If you like, uh, welcome to Carnival. Let's take a trip around the road with some food. Uh, I also brought in my uh, senior shoe chef, Jeremy, to uh, touch on some of those. What? what? From Adventures that Rock? Ow, that's a close up. <laughs> well, I'll stay back here and I'll just zoom in. How about that? That way you don't know what's happening. So she just asked what my first pick would be. Like you have to choose. Oh man. Your first try. What would it be? There's I so think, many amazing things here. I think my first pick might be the spicy shrimp. So I think my first pick is gonna be from Italy. The brown butter sage tortellini and it has pancetta in it. Man, I love yeah. pancetta. Are you with me? No, I have no clue what it is. <laughs> it's like bacon. Um, Oh, yeah. bacon? Yeah, well, then, yeah, yeah I'm on board with that. Bacon. They brought some of the drinks out here now. They look pretty good. I'm not much of a drinker, but if you are, they look pretty good and refreshing. I mean, they got fruit up here in the top and everything. Looks nice. How cool was that to be able to see all of the food and hear the chef talk about it and everything? I'm really enjoying this media event. It's a lot of fun. And they did give us a taste card. Now, our taste card has six foods on it, and the menu's on the back. So if you need, if you see something you like, you know where to go. Our first stop is going to come right out of Starbucks where we were, and we're going to go over here to the Germany booth. It says German specialties. I don't know what I'm going to get. I might try the pretzel bites. Chris, you like pretzels, right? Yeah, she might try the pretzel bright bites, bright bites. We saw the pretzel bites earlier, but here you go in real life. Before I eat them. Real life pretzel bites. All right, you're gonna try here. Are you gonna use, oh, you're going for the cheese. The blank face. That was delicious. Tells it all, you like that? Would you suggest getting it to people who like pretzels? Yes. Yes! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Pretzel bites. Germany's pretzel bites were great. So we decided to wander over here next to France and try a little something something out in France. Now we haven't had dinner yet at all, so I am a little bit hungry. There's when a squirrel it caught my attention. I was like, squirrel. But yeah, I am hungry. But when you send your wife to go get some food, what does she always bring back? Sweets. At least mine does. I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm not gonna put in any complaint or anything. I'm okay with eating these sweets right here, right? The peach galette. Fresh peaches baked in flaky dough. Right there you have it. We're gonna give her a try and see what we think. So in my opinion, the peach galette kind of tastes like a cobbler. It's got a little bit of sugar on top, right, Whitney thing? And uh, yeah, flaky crust, just like I said, it's really good. You might, if you like like peach pie or peach cobbler, definitely suggest getting this too. This is good food. 
Now I need to go and find something that's like good for dinner. I don't want to eat like a bunch of snacks yet. I want to get my little fill on dinner and I think I'm going to go hunt down these spicy shrimp udon, udon, however you say that because that looked really good. The band is out. I think this is like considered a soft opening, like a practice maybe. And the dancers are also out. The characters are meeting people. Right underneath Nighthawk, right where the uh, Sky Tower is, you're going to have Spain and over here is China. And I'm hunting those uh, shrimp noodles that China has, so I'm going to grab that right now. And also underneath the Nighthawk, we have Italy over here. Now, I wanted to turn around and point out all of these Instagrammable, like little backdrops that you can, that they have setting out, that you can come and take pictures of. But I did get my spicy shrimp noodles right there. They look good. I'm gonna take them back to the family. We're gonna try them out there. Band is killing it, and we have all these characters out here dancing with everyone. And they do represent all of the countries that are represented in Grand Carnival. Here's you a better shot of these spicy uh, shrimp udon. They come in like this awesome little Chinese takeout box. I think it's really cool. It adds a nice little flair to it. Looks nice. Definitely for Instagram. These two are out. Gonna get some Italian food. Or no, French food. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna try this out. See how spicy it is. But it looks really, really good. All right, I think I'm just gonna try to eat the noodles first. See how spicy they are there. Let's see. pretty good. I think those noodles are really nice. They're, they're uh, definitely not super mega spicy. If you can't handle spices that much, I definitely don't suggest getting this because I can taste some spice in it. But I don't think it's like very hot, like burn your tongue hot. Not having any issues right now. But let's try a piece of that uh, shrimp and see what we think about that. All right, here we go. Got the shrimp right here. It's got some spices on it, it looks like. Let's give her a try. Shrimp is really good. Like, I really wasn't expecting that. That was like just flavorful shrimp. It wasn't dried out. It wasn't very spicy. I think the noodles were actually spicier than the shrimp was. But it was really good shrimp. Now, they do have the tail on them. So don't eat your tail or you're going to have some crunchy shrimp. <laughs> you probably won't like it. But yeah, I like this. I think I would get this again if I came back. All right, so that's going to put us at about three tastes on our six taste card for the Grand Carnival. Now they did give us this, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but they did give us this at the media event for free. And I want you to uh, also remember that you do have different little tastes and meals on the back of it so you know which country to go to. You can look at this and say, oh wow, that peach galette or galet, that sounds pretty good and that's gonna be in France. And then you have a map to go find France and get your peach galet. So um, I do wanna point out that I think we're gonna stop at three because at the bottom of this it does say that you are able to use this card um, during any day for Grand Carnival so you can bring this card back use it later if you don't finish up all your tastes so I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow because I want to be here tomorrow to do an opening day video for you all so that I can get the parade and everything in this so I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna save a little food for tomorrow We've made our way all the way around from the Sky Tower back here to the water park, Carolina Harbor, because they're gonna give us like a little behind the scenes tour of some of the floats, I think. Maybe some more things as well. So yeah, I'm excited about it. This guy's staring at me, waiting for me to shush. I gotta give instructions. Okay. <laughs> Hi friends, how is everyone? Guys, we are backstage at Carowinds here. This is where they store all of the props for Winterfest. We're looking at Winterfest right now. They have some Scarewinds props out there. I have never been to an, a theme or an amusement park and been able to do this. Let's take a little gander. We're allowed to walk anywhere we want, just obviously not touch anything. I don't think I could afford to replace it if I broke anything. But I want to give you a quick little tour of this. This is so cool. Found some Elfer's glue up here. Some more really pretty decorations that they have for Winterfest. They got some wreaths on the back uh, wall back there, and there's some Christmas trees right here. 
This is where they keep absolutely everything for Winterfest. I don't know, they may keep one or two things outside of here, but this place is packed right now. Here's a surfboard. I don't know what a surfboard's doing in here for. Maybe it's for uh, Carolina Harbor or something. This is really cool. There's some lights right there, I think. I have never had an experience like this, being able to go back into the warehouse for a theme or amusement park. It's my first time. Ting Ting, Razzmatazz, if you want to call it that. We've made all of those. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Usually there's days, like, if I end up in here decorating things, I end up covered in glitter, <laughs> which is, like, fine. It doesn't bother me that much. But I'll go out to dinner with friends and be like, did you make Christmas today? <laughs> yes, I did make Christmas today. They know. So that was the backstage tour of the Winterfest warehouse, where they store all of the props and things. I think now we're going to head on over to the, the Grand Carnival Parade and look at it. They were supposed to run the parade on like a soft opening kind of situation, but they said that there was a te te technical difficulty, so they're not gonna be able to do that tonight. It will be running tomorrow though, I think, on the opening day, unless something else happens. But instead of seeing the parade, they're gonna let us like walk up to where they store the, the floats and uh, give us a close-up look of them. So that's where we're headed right now, and it's in the parking lot. We're about there, so I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna give you a little quick tour of the behind the scenes Grand Carnival float. Check out the smoke coming out of that dragon's nose. It's got lights all over it. Guessing this is obviously the China float. I'm not gonna be able to tell all the countries, but super cool. All Courtney from the Jackson Travels is up there. I'm gonna have to do that. And then we have the India float right here. Some drums at the bottom. Actual whole thing's made out of drums too, so that's cool. Here's another one here. I'm guessing this is Germany. After, uh, yeah, Afterburn back there tearing it up. We've got this one here. It's absolutely gorgeous. The head turns on that. I think that's really cool. And here's France right here. Now it's kind of funny, France is absolutely gorgeous by the way. I like how the Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower has lights on it and they're all like sparkling and all. But what's kind of funny is you see these red buttons here? Ryan told us not to hit the red buttons. Now what are you always supposed to do when someone tells you that? You're supposed to hit the red button. And here is Todd from Just Out and About. Don't get that confused with their Canadian channel, Just Out and About. This is Just Out and About. <laughs> with the letter N. So yeah, we're, they're on the channel just about as much as I am. I joked about that on Kathy's video earlier, but it's gotcha. good seeing you. Yeah, Brad, we're just out here having a great time. I can't believe we're backstage actually looking at these uh, floats. You know, this is, this is really a great opportunity to get to uh, take some pictures, you know, really close up of what these floats look at. Right. Yeah. right now, I have bumped into some YouTube friends that I actually met on YouTube before I met in real life. Yep. So that's really cool. This is, it's THE Jackson Travels, right? Yes, that's Okay, right. make sure you put the THE in there. <laughs> and it's Courtney and Seth. Hi. Super cool people. And they actually have QR codes on their backs. Turn oh, around, yeah, turn around. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you, if you want to scan that with your phone, I hope it takes you somewhere appropriate. It will. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right that's channel. Joke, yeah. Okay, good, good. I am having so much fun. I can't even tell you. Like, I love theme and amusement parks, and this has just been amazing. And you know what's kind of cool is I've always parked here, and I've always seen this warehouse right here. Never really known what was in it. And turns out it was the warehouse they store the Winterfest stuff. So I finally have been in that warehouse. We're going to head on in there again. But yeah, it's already been shown on the video. I feel like I need to, to record this because this is my proof that I've been in this building. And what's in here? Wow. Alright, so I'm meeting old friends and new friends through this whole media event. This is William from I VK Every Day, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yeah, he's a really nice guy. Do a lot of stuff, I've heard, right? Oh, yeah. 
It says he's a little bit bigger on TikTok, so if you have TikTok, you might want to check it out there. But you also have what? Instagram? -ing? You can tell. Yeah, yeah, we have we have uh, Instagram, and we have, we have a very small, unprofessional YouTube. There's a lot of editing that you guys uh, do that I... If I, they're watching this, they're probably used to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I give you guys all, all the respect. There's a lot of time. But yeah, yeah I'm on TikTok. I, I got a pretty big following over there. And, uh, glad to meet you, man. Yeah, cool meeting you. And like I was saying, I'm running into all my friends from Carowinds. This is Dustin from Carowinds Fans Only. It's got a, what, you have Instagram and Facebook as your biggest ones. Are there anything else that you want to... Um, I have YouTube, uh, TikTok. YouTube and TikTok. Okay, I didn't even know about the TikTok thing, but I'm telling you. This dude has a lot of really good information on Carowinds. Stuff that comes out that not a lot of people know about, he knows about. So I definitely suggest giving him a follow on Instagram and Facebook, at least. The other ones too, TikTok and YouTube. All right, that is going to wrap up the media event that they're taking us on. So no more Carowind staffs. We are finally on our own, and we're going to walk around and take a look at some stuff, see if there's other Grand Carnival decorations. And then tonight, they have a small little fireworks show, and I'm going to catch that and put it on the end of the video. So I don't know. I didn't know that they had a little end-of-the-day fireworks show, but I think they called it a kiss goodnight. I thought that was the Magic Kingdom name that they use, but maybe Carowinds uses that name too. I don't know, but we're going to enjoy these fireworks tonight, and then I'll close out the video after that. So, yeah, this day has been packed, but a lot of fun. Right behind the China Pavilion is a neat little setup right here for China. They've got like a little panda bear holding a box, says Grand Carnival in it, and some awesome little Chinese decorations behind it. I like it. some pretty good fireworks. Just a little show. They weren't advertising as a, as a big fireworks display. It was called A Kiss Goodnight. So just a little quick simple fireworks show. I thought it was pretty good. The dance party was awesome. Man, the band and the dancers. Holy cow, they were really good, right? Awesome. 